hi love welcome back in today's class you're making those beautiful shirts if you're new to the channel my name is miss Ayi, and you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you my love for always coming back let's get right into class Be using a door yarn art and it's a hundred gram acrylic yarn in these three colors. To begin with, we are going to be working three panels: back panel and two front panel. So let's start with the back panel. We are going to make a slip knot, and depending on the length of your top. I am going to make a length of 22 inches so I'm going to chain 110 chains. After your 110 chains you are going to skip two and in the next stitch that is the third stitch you are going to make a double crochet. You are going to chain one and inside the same stitch you are going to make a double crochet so that is your first V stitch you are going to skip two stitches and in the third stitch you are going to make a V stitch again V stitch is double crochet chain one and double crochet all inside the same stitch you are going to skip two again and make a V stitch and a V stitch is a double crochet so skip two make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the third stitch and you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row and i'll meet you at the end of my row At the end of the row after your last V stitch so you can see my last V stitch you are going to chain 3 and turn your work inside the very first V stitch you are going to place a double crochet chain 1 and a double crochet we are doing that in the chain 1 space our very first V stitch so in the next v stitch inside the chain one space you're going to make a v stitch again so double crochet chain one and double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the next v stitch again you are going to make a v stitch so a double crochet chain one and a double crochet you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of my row too. I'm at the end of my row two, and in the very last stitch, I'm going to place my double crochet. Now you are going to chain three, turn your work. Inside the very first V stitch, you are going to place a double crochet chain one and a double crochet meaning you are placing a V stitch inside the V stitch in the next V stitch that's the chain one space you are going to place a V stitch a double crochet chain one and a double crochet so this is basically the pattern we will be using and we are going to be repeating this throughout our work so keep placing a V stitch inside the V stitch and I'll meet you at the end of the row so this is row 3 at the end of row 3 inside our very last stitch we are going to place a double crochet so this is what our work would be looking like so you are going to chain 3 again and inside the very first V stitch you are going to place a V stitch and we are going to keep repeating this until we have nine rows of our first color 
nine rows of the first color and i'll meet you when i have my nine rows completed so keep alternating um keep repeating stitches i mean until you have nine rows and i'll meet you at the end of my nine rows if you are making for a size large consider making 10 rows so I'm at the end of my nine rows and you are going to chain one cut and fasten your yarn. We are going to connect our second color and this is what your work should be looking like. So connect your second color and we are going to chain three again and turn our work in the very first chain one space or inside the v-stitch we are going to keep repeating the same thing so make a v-stitch that's a double crochet chain one and a double crochet so from row 10 11 12 13 is still going to be the same so the only difference is we are changing yarn right so with this second color we are going to make four rows so the first color we made nine rows the second we are making four rows nothing has changed so keep repeating this and i'll meet you when i'm done with my four rows I'm done with my four rows and this is how your work should be looking like again we are switching to our third um, color and you are going to chain three and again we are not um, doing anything different we are going to keep repeating the exact same thing we are going to keep repeating row one so inside the very first stitch you are going to make your v stitch and a v stitch is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet so with this third color we are going to we are going to make nine rows of the third color so the first color is nine rows second is four rows and the third is nine rows and that would be um, equal equivalent to our first panel our first front panel right but this is our back panel so if you are making for a size large consider making 10 5 10 if you are making for extra small consider making 8 3 8 so keep working and i'll meet you at the end of the row so this is the end and this is what the work should be looking like you can repeat this same exact one for your front panel but i'm going to put um on the screen um i'm going to show you how i'm going to be mixing the color for my front panel but this is how we are going to be working for the back panel so this is like one side of the back panel again the back panel is a complete panel it's not separated so we are going to continue so again we are going to repeat the this particular color nine rows again and then so that is it so repeated nine rows of this color again now we are going to the second color we will repeat it four rows and end with the third color or, or end with the first color that is nine rows so i hope i'm not confusing you so we are going to cut so after the third color of nine rows we added extra nine rows again and now we are joining our second color and we are going to make four rows and after we are going to join our first color the very first color right and we are going to make nine rows so if you are making for a size large it's supposed to be 10 5 10 10 5 10 and if you are making for extra small it's going to be eight three eight eight three eight and if you're making for a size medium as i'm doing it's going to be nine four nine nine four nine those are the rules i hope i'm not confusing you so keep working and i'll meet you at the end of my row so this is the end of the back panel and this is what my work is looking like 
I'm going to show you how I made the front panel but you're going to start with the same exact number of chains I started with 110 110 chains and you are going to start with 110 chains and work the same exact way for the front panel but with the front panel is going to be 949 and again you work again 949 separately so two of 949s right but this is what my front panel so i decided to just alternate some colors in between so instead of 949 i did 72472 so it's equal to 949 <laughs> right so this is what the work is looking like so now we are going to be joining the back panel the front panel and the we are going to be attaching the webs together so align your panels um, the wrong side should be facing you and the right side should be facing inside because we are going to be working from the wrong side we are going to start attaching the shoulder parts together and you are going to start off by making a slip knot and attaching um, both panels together and you are going to chain one after you chain one we are going to be alternating um, the back panel and the front panel so in the very second row of our front panel you are going to make a single crochet and in that second row of the back panel you make a single crochet so we are attaching it by row by row so you are going to chain one and inside the third row you make a single crochet and inside the third row of your back panel you are going to make a single crochet you are going to chain one inside the fourth row you make a single crochet inside the fourth row of your back panel you make a single crochet and you are going to chain one so we are going to be um, attaching it with single crochet row by row and chain one row by row and chain one right so you're going to keep repeating this until the end of your first um, row sorry until the end of your first panel and this is what the work should be looking like so attaching it like this, you would barely see that we have patched our work. So at the end of the row, so you can see that there is a four row in the middle. It's because the front panel, I made two row less in both of my front panels so you can do that if you want to if you don't um you can make it um the same exact rules per as the back panel but i just made it less so i'm having um seven two four six one right so that is the pattern i use for the front panel so i can have two rules less in both of my panel so when you translate it to the back panel um it will be four rows i would have four rows um um left i don't know if you understand if you don't understand just leave it under the comment section so i can be able to explain to you better so um i didn't cut off my yarn so just keep attaching your work exactly so i just made single crochets on top of the four um rows in the middle and i continue attaching my work um with the same style we've been doing until the end of the row so the pattern is um aligning your work together and make a single crochet in the front panel a single crochet in the back panel chain one and keep repeating until the end so you are going to repeat this until the end of the row so at the end of the row um, now we are going to be joining the size of our work and as i've always been doing so from the shoulder you are going to measure um seven inches um for a size small 7.5 for a size medium or large and place a stitch marker 
and now from the bottom of our work the same way we attached our shoulder we are going to be attaching it the same way so join your yarn but this time we are going to be alternating it inside the chain two space so in your back panel chain two space make a single crochet in your front panel chain two space make a single crochet and chain one so you go into the next chain two space make a single crochet and in the chain two space um you make in your front panel make a single crochet and chain one so you are going to be alternating single crochet in the chain two space single crochet in the front panel chain two space and make a chain one so this is what the how we are going to be attaching the size of our work and you are going to keep doing this until you get to the stitch marker space or where you left for your armhole so this is what the work should be looking like you can barely see we have attached and you are going to work until the stitch marker space when you get to the stitch marker space you are going to take off your stitch marker and work your last um, joining make a single crochet so now we are going to chain one and we are going to be working single crochet around our armhole so inside the chain two space you are going to work two single crochets and inside the v stitch space you are going to work a single crochet so two single crochets and a single crochet you are going to keep alternating it until the end like you are going to go round the armhole with two single crochets and a single crochet two single crochet and a single crochet until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch inside the very first chain one space and you are going to chain one cut and fasten your yarn now we are going to be using our second color to complete the arm So now you are going to take your second color or the peach and you are going to where you cut off inside of the very first chain one space you are going to connect your yarn and you are going to chain three one two and three inside the very next stitch you are going to make a v stitch so a v stitch is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet so make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet all inside the same stitch you are going to yarn over skip two and inside a third stitch you are going to make a v stitch that is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet you are going to yarn over skip two again and inside the third stitch you are going to make a v stitch a double crochet chain one and a double crochet you are going to keep repeating this all around the armhole until um, where we started off and i'll meet you at the end of the row inside the so at the end of the row on top of the chain three space you are going to make a slip stitch and you are going to chain three inside the very first v stitch you are going to repeat a v stitch so make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet so this is the pattern for the armhole is just the same as the body of the work and i'm going to go ahead and make five rows um of the second color so we've already made one row so i'm going to add four more rows and i'll meet you when i have five rows if you're making for a size large consider making seven rows for your armhole or just make the row that is okay with you right so at the end of i'm done with my five rows for the arm and now row six i'm going to chain one and you're going to make a single crochet in each stitch all around until the end of the row
and at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch inside the chain one space you are going to chain one again turn your work and make a single crochet all around until the end until the end of the row sorry if you haven't subscribed to the channel up until this point my love my darling my baby please do and if you're a returning subscriber and you've made it up until this end please leave us a heart sign under the comment section it's always nice to know so you're going to slip stitch your work chain one and cut and fasten your work and that is the end of the arm and you're going to repeat the same exact method for the other side of your your arm and now we move to the color of the top so this is where your work should be looking like and now we are going to be working the color To start out with the neck, you are going to measure 7 inches on both sides and put your stitch marker. So both your left, your left and right panel just measure 7 inches. On counting, I counted um, 12 stitches, like 12 of the V stitches. But if you don't want to count and you want to measure, just go ahead and measure. But make sure both sides, you are placing the stitch marker at the exact um, opposite side. One shouldn't be longer than the other. So make sure you are getting it right and place your stitch marker. That's why you see me counting and recounting to make sure it's aligning so now to start off with the neck you are going to take your second color or your peach and you are going to join it in the middle that's the chain two space sorry the middle of your v stitch it's not a chain two space right and you are going to chain three and inside the very first v stitch the chain one space you are going to make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet inside the nest you are going to make a double crochet chain one and a double crochet that's inside the nest v stitch so in the inside the nest again you are going to keep repeating the v stitch inside the v stitches the previous v stitch all around until we get to the back the where we left the four rows at the back panel So I'm at where we left the four rows at the back panel and inside each row I'm going to place a V stitch and a V stitch is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet. So I'm going to place a V stitch in each of the rows and that is it. So now I'm back at the main rows again, the other side of the panel, and you're going to work your V stitches until the end of the row or until you get the stitch marker space. And I'll meet you at the stitch marker space. So I'm at the stitch marker space, and inside the stitch marker, where the stitch marker is, you're going to make your double crochet. You're going to chain three. So that's row one completed, row two, you chain three, turn your work inside the very first chain one space or V stitch, you are going to place a V stitch. Inside the next V stitch, you are going to place a V stitch. And a V stitch is a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. Continue till the end of row two. At the end of row two, inside the very last space you make your double crochet 
and you are going to chain 3 and 10 for row 3. Inside the very first space, that's inside the double crochet space, you are going to place a double crochet and that's your first increase. And now inside the very first V-stitch, you are going to make a V-stitch and you are going to repeat until the end of the row. With the neck, I'm going to make four rows and I'm starting my increasing in row three and I'm going to make um, four to five rows right for the neck. If you want your collar to be bigger, consider making seven rows. I'm literally out of yarn at the moment, um, so I can't work seven rows. So I'll just go ahead and make five rows. So I'll meet you when I'm done with my five rows. And this is the end of my five rows. After your five rows, you are going to chain one, cut and fasten your wig. And you are done with your neck. And this is what your wig should be looking like. And now we are going to be doing our final touches. And so we are going to take off our stitch marker from any of the sides and you are going to connect your yarn at where you took the stitch marker at the stitch marker space we are going to chain three and inside the very first v stitch we are going to make a v stitch double crochet chain one and a double crochet we are going to work this until the end of the row so keep making v stitches inside the chain one space until the end of the row At the end of the row, you are going to chain one, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochets in each stitch until the end of the row or until where we connected our stitch marker from. So make single crochets until the end of the row. Again, with this single crochets, you can work single crochets all across until the end of the row and take it all al along the um, collar. Work single crochet all around to the other panel and work your V stitches and your single crochet. Whichever way you, you decide to do this works or you just work your single crochet as I'm doing. When you get to your collar, you would cut and fasten your work and go and work the other side again. And now when you are done, work your single crochet all along or all around the collar. So this is how your work should be looking like. Complete the other side and I'll meet you when i'm done with the other side after that just work single crochet around the collar and when you are done you make sure you fasten all loose ends at the bottom of your your top and you are done with your work again you can work single crochet at the bottom of your work all around so you can work a single crochet border but at this point i'm out of yarn and so i can't work a border around but i have done around the collar as you can see so go ahead and cut and fasten all loose ends and place your bottoms if you want to and that will be the end of the work initially this top was supposed to be for a male so i placed the bottom at the wrong side but watch well and place your bottom where you want it to be and this is the final work until we meet next week is